The automobile has remained largely unchanged for over a hundred years. At Apple, we thought, how can we f that shit up? Introducing Apple Car. What you first notice when you sit in Apple Car is that there's no wheel or pedals. Siri does all the driving for you by using Apple Maps to take the most efficient route every time. You'll be gliding through back streets with all the ease of an Apple lawyer gliding through corporate tax loopholes. Siri, take me to Cupertino. Now driving you to the bottom of Lake Superior. Crafted unapologetically in styrofoam, Apple Car can be personalized with a range of apologetic silicon covers that elegantly snap on to protect Apple Car's most important feature, Bono, who will sit in the back seat and play every U2 song on loop for the life of the car. The windscreen itself is made from sapphire crystal, which is a thousand times stronger than glass, unless something touches it. Like most Apple products, Apple Car doesn't crash. And if it does crash, it's probably because of user error. Apple Car wouldn't be an Apple product if it had windows. So we got rid of them and replaced them with gorgeous retina displays. When it comes to looking at your surroundings, the passenger is always in the driver's seat. If you're driving around Silicon Valley and you don't want to see homeless people, simply swipe them away. Oh look, a harmonious multiracial picnic. Ah, that's nice. Apple Car is fully electric, and with Apple's craptic engine, it can drive continuously for 24 minutes a day on a single charge. And there's enough onboard storage to hide as many Chinese workers that have committed suicide during the assembly of the car, which is four. And that's three more than any other car. Apple Car represents the most important, most magical, most revolutionary, and genuinely exciting automotive industry innovation since the built-in iPhone charger.